Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Debbie's Designs. Today is the fourth Friday of the month, which means my Friday folds, which I do monthly um, on my Facebook Live. So welcome, and I'm going to give everyone a few more seconds to get on. Okay, we're going to get started. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Rhonda. So tonight I'm doing a... Um, a fold and I'm using the sea of textures stamp set and stitched all around I'm not using the stamp set I'm actually using the dies the stitched labels dies I'm using this little label and tonight's card is called a twisted card fold let me just move my stamps so we're going to actually use one piece of cardstock that measures 11 by four and a quarter and we're going to make this shaped card with it it opens up this way it has a pocket here that you can either put a gift card or some currency or you could glue it shut and just add a sentiment to the center so i'm going to give you the supplies that you need to make this card oh and one thing i wanted to mention i am going to list a pattern for you guys that you can use once I'm done my video I'm going to edit the post and add the link that you guys can go uh, print this this is to cut out all of your layers so look for that once the video is done for cardstock I'm using mint macaron 11 by four and a quarter a piece of whisper white for stamping and I've gone ahead and cut my layers. So let me explain a little bit more about this pattern sheet. Now on my card, I'm just using the card base and layer number one. You can also add layer number two if you want. So I've got um, two pieces for layer two, two pieces for layer one. And what I normally do is I print uh, my patterns on regular copy paper and I keep this for a future reference and then I uh, photocopy on cardstock so I have the pattern to use so that's what I've gone ahead and cut we're going to need two with the balmy blue pattern and then two with the little dots pattern and I'm using the Tranquil Textures designer paper. I had to go peek. And then you have to take the pattern, it's made to fit this way, flip it over to do the other side so that you, because they're not facing in the same direction. Now, let me bring in what else I'm using. Got a lot of ink colors. I've got Fresh Fig, Tranquil Tide, Balmy Blue, Knight of Navy, and Versamark. I do have a little, couple little tips to show you tonight. Now, I don't know if you noticed or not, on the card, I'm going to do a close-up. The two little sand dollars have some glitter on them. I'm going to show you how I did that. And then the octopus is also clear embossed. I'm going to show you how to do your own colored embossing. Um, I don't know if that shows up on there. Yes, it does. I can see it. Okay. So in order for um, the sand dollars to be ready in time, I've gone ahead and cut some of these ahead of time. So I'm going to bring in one little one, one large one. And I also regret not doing the little uh, starfish that I call them, even though they're the centers. I want to do this first because it takes time to dry and what I'm using to do this is the fine tip glue pen even though this is adhesive it dries hard as a rock so some of you guys may remember our crystal effects that we had a couple years ago this is a good substitution for it I'm also using dazzling diamonds So pretty much all you do is fill in the whole cardstock piece with the glue. So it's like you're coloring it. 
You could actually leave it this way because it, like I said, it is going to turn rock hard and it has a nice um, shiny finish to it when you're done. And it takes a good 15 to 20 minutes to dry, maybe even a little bit longer. I've never actually timed it. So I'm hoping this will be dry by the time I finish my card. So I'm going to do all four of these pieces. And it's easy to color with a fine tip. And then all we're going to do is sprinkle the dazzling diamonds on there. Now, like I said, I didn't do my two stars on my other card and I regret not doing that. So I'm anxious to see if I'm gonna like it better this way. Okay. Now a little tip in case you've never used this stuff before. This is very fine. What I normally do is take the tip and put it in the fold of my finger and then it goes right in. It kind of leads you uh, to putting the tip back on or the cap back on. Now I'm going to bring in my dazzling diamonds. I'm just going to generously sprinkle and cover that. And then we're going to set this aside to dry. I did have someone ask me um, about the rice that they see in my embossing powder. I put the rice in there to absorb the moisture so that my powder doesn't go uh, bad on me. Okay. So this is all set for now. We're just gonna set this aside to dry. So now let's get to the card fold. Oh, thanks for sharing, you guys. You guys brought a lot of traffic to my uh, Facebook post the other night when everybody shared. Now, a reminder tip that I uh, showed you guys a few months ago I took a black permanent marker and drew down the six inch mark on my scoreboard. And what that helps me with, I have to actually score this diagonally. So I'm going to put the point of my cardstock on the black line. And the same thing with way down where you guys can't see. I've run out of counter space. And we're going to score that diagonally. And now we're going to fold this over. And I need the score tool one more time. So can you see the shape of the card already? Okay, that's how it sits. Now we need to score one more time. So this is so easy, it's not complicated at all. Now we're going to lay the flat part against the shelf here. Right here where the two, um, two pieces meet once they're folded. Right there on the black line at six inches. And we're going straight across to make a straight line. And that's it. Okay, let me move this aside. So you can see how easy that was. Now I'm just going to press down on all my folds to make sure it's nice and flat. And I got embossing powder all over here. I'm going to bring in my pieces. I'm going to go ahead and glue the balmy blue. Now that goes on the inside of the top pocket. And then the other one is going to go on the opposite, on the inside. So with the help of my pattern, this will help you guys to cut all your layers out. And then we're going to glue the two little triangular pieces. So again, that's the one in the front. And then this is the one on the inside. I won't glue the white one in place just yet because I need to do some stamping. OK. 
Okay, so there's the front and then the inside. Hello everyone that's chiming in. Hello to my husband. He hasn't been on for a while. He's been helping with farming this um, since this spring. Okay, now the embossing powder that I use on the octopus is clear. So you can make your own colored embossing powder. There's two steps to it. So I'm using fresh fig. The first thing we do, because our colored inks dry quickly, we're going to ink the octopus with the Versamark ink first. And without stamping, use the fresh fig. Now what the Versamark does is it allows the ink to stay wet enough and long enough so that the embossing powder will stick to it. See how easy that was? So you can do this with any colors from your ink pads. Now I'm going to quickly use the heat tool. And you'll see it start to melt. There we go. So now we have a nice shiny but colored embossing um, embossed octopus. So we need to cut him out, but I have a few other items I need to stamp. I'm going to bring in the Tranquil Tide ink. And we're going to stamp one of these. Okay, where's my sentiment? Oh, I didn't take it out. Yes, I did. I cannot find my sentiment. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Duh. I had it all ready and didn't even notice. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the Big Shot machine. We just need to cut these three pieces because we've already gone ahead and cut these out. So we need the octopus and then these two pieces. Let me bring the big shot in. Now, one little tip on the octopus, if you use him quite a bit, make sure you take out the little pieces that stay inside because that will affect the cutting. And then we have the sentiment. And one more. I know you guys commented um, on Wednesday how some of you like to see me cut everything. There was just way too much cutting for this card for me to sit there and have you guys watch all of it. So that's why I decided to do just the stamped portion. Oh Gloria, did you miss the card? So it started out, of course I have it glued now, but it started out with a rectangular piece cut diagonally. And then this is what it looks like with the pocket on the inside. I hope that's what you mean. So now I have all of my pieces. So we're going to build with all of these beautiful layers. Now, what drew me the most to this new stamp set is this little net. I just think this is so adorable. 
We're going to glue that in place first. I'm just going to add a few dots of glue just here and there. Now I did have, I think it was Jewel that has asked me a few times why my glue comes out so easy because hers gets clogged up. I'm going to show you something that I use for my glue. I always keep my glues upside down. I ordered some nail polish online the other day and it came in this little foam container, two nail polish bottles and guess what? This fits perfectly in there. So that's what I use to keep my glue upside down at all times. It didn't cost me anything and it's perfect. Okay, I'm going to glue my little net. And just press that. Now this is where I'm going to glue down this flap on the front. I don't want this one to move. And let's see, we need one of these, one of these. I'm hoping the little sand dollars will be dry by the time we get to glue everything else down. Okay, now I'm going to tuck this right here. And then I'm going to add the green one just in front of it. I'm going to add one more of these white ones. And then let's see, we've got this little green one. I should have the card out so you guys can see it. This one goes right here. And then the octopus and the sentiment I glued down with stamping dimensionals. Oh Fran, you like the netting too. That's the that's the biggest reason I bought this set because of that little net. And you can use that net uh, with a non um, sea creature type card too. Let's see, I'll put him right there. And I'm going to add the other four glittered elements last, just because I want to make sure that they're dry. And I'm just going to tuck that in there. Now let's flip over to the inside. So again, when I cut with my pattern, the pattern goes this way, you have to cut opposite for it to go here if you're using designer paper. Don't forget to flip your designer paper over or your pattern. So now let's bring in all of the ink colors. So I'm using, I think five or four different ink colors on this part. I should show you the inside of my stamp case because this is a set of nine. I have two stamps left, a set of eight for the frameless and I've got one left. So I used a lot of what came with this kit. Okay, we're gonna start with the net. So even though we have a die cut net, we also have the stamped one that you can use. And then we have this little vine that's going to be with the tranquil tide. So all I did was create a little collage with this, with all these stamps. Okay, I want to make sure this one's right side up, which it is. And then we've got this little um, texture type image. That's gonna be with the Knight of Navy. And I kinda just stuck them here and there. So there's three of those. And then lastly, let me clean off the stamp that I used for the front.
And I'm going to use the fresh fig for that one. And I did do one and two without re-inking. So there's my collage, it's quite full. Let me bring my card back in. So if you were to use a larger sentiment, I would tell you to stamp the sentiment first and then work your way around it. Okay, now for the inside, let's get the rest of what I've already cut out. And I didn't do any um, glitter on the inside. I didn't want to take a chance that it was going to stick when I closed the card. Whoops. I've got so much glue on my fingers right now. Now let's glue the little stars. Isn't it neat how these come out from the center and then you can use them? You can continue using them for layers on your card. I have used this stamp set quite a bit so far. I love it. So there's my two little stars or starfish. And then the coral. So again, let me get my gift card. You can use that for a gift card or you can use currency or you could always add another sentiment and glue this flat. It's up to you. Now let's see if our other pieces are dry yet. If they're not, I might have to wait. I'm just gonna get a tweezer and just try it out. I don't think they're quite dry. But see how nice that is? See how sparkly? I'm actually not gonna glue these down because they are a little wet. I just added a little dent to that one. But I wanted to show you guys how I did that, how I added the sparkly and those are going to be glued right on the front. And this, the whitish is going to disappear as, as this glues better. So you can see right there on my card. So that's how you create the twist card fold. And like I said, um, just give me a few minutes after I post the video once I'm not live any longer. And for those of you that will watch this later on YouTube, I'll also add the link in the comments section. So I hope you guys like this card. I think it's so cute with this stamp set. And I will be back here on Sunday at 7 p.m. And we're going to do another Sunday share uh, catalog case. And I'm going to do a bunch of masculine cards. Thanks for all the love, you guys. And I hope to see you on Sunday. Have a good night.